Song of the Purple Paste, written and illustrated by Phoebe Hicks. This is Signor. He spends his life performing for people at all of the weddings that happen in the town. Signor thinks that all of these people are beautiful, with smooth skin, silky hair, and sparkling white teeth. Unfortunately, Signor is sad. He thinks that he is ugly, and that no one will ever think of marrying him. One day, Signor decided that he would spend all of the money he had saved on making himself beautiful. He went to Bethany's beauty shop, where he always saw the beautiful married people of the town go. For Signor's savings, Bethany gave him three small tubs filled with strange purple-colored paste. They smelt of aubergines. The first tub was labeled skin cream. Signor rubbed the paste onto his face. After only a few seconds, his mustache shot out and became as big as a baguette. No, 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 Signor exclaimed. That is not any better. The second tub was labeled shampoo, so he rubbed it into his hair. Before he knew it, his hair sprang up like a hedgehog. No, cried Signor. I am even uglier than before. The last tub was labeled toothpaste. In a panic, he brushed the toothpaste all around his mouth. His teeth grew immediately and became very wonky and yellow. Signor could not believe the face that was looking at him from the mirror. I will really never be married now, he cried. Signor was so sad that he went out into the street and began to play the saddest song he had ever played. The song drifted down the street into Bethany's beauty shop. As soon as Bethany heard the song, she fell completely in love with Signor. She ran to Signor and threw her arms around him. It is so, so beautiful, she told him. By the wedding, Signor's face and hair had returned to normal, and he was glad about that. Every day, Bethany would ask Signor to play her the beautiful song the purple paste. The end. The Song of the Purple Paste by Phoebe Hicks was made on the Paper Kingdom's book creation course. It was judged as the Paper Kingdom's book of the year by Eloise Williams, the Welsh Children's Laureate. For more books made on the book creation course, you can go to www.paperkingdoms.org. 